All right, we are going to look at solving quadratic equations, which are equations with x squared, um, just by solving them. So if I just have one x, like here you see it in only one spot in the equation, I don't need a factor, I can just solve it. So what is the inverse of squaring? That would be taking the square root. Once I take the square root, I create two answers positive and negative. And then what is the square root of 49? It is 7. So I create two answers because think about what a square root me means. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply back. So 7 times 7 equals 49, but so does negative 7 times negative 7 would equal 49. Okay, next example. More complicated. So let's say at x squared minus 1 equals uh, I don't know, 15. So I'm going to add 1 to each side. So I have x squared equals 16. Then I will square root. So I have x equals plus or minus 4. Okay, next example. So if I have y uh, squared, 3y squared plus 2, equals uh, 10. I'm going to get the y squared alone first, so I'm going to subtract 2. So I have 3y squared equals 8. I'm going to divide by 3. So I have y squared equals 8 thirds. I will square root. So I have y equals plus or minus the square root of 8 thirds. I could type that into a calculator to get an approximate answer, and then eventually we'll look at how to break these down. Let's look at another example. So if I have x minus 4 squared equals, I don't know, 4. So I, I'm going to square root both sides. So I have x minus 4 equals, I get two different answers. I get positive 2 and I get negative 2. So if I want to keep going, I'm going to say x minus 4 equals 2, x minus 4 equals negative 2, and I'm going to solve both of these equations. So I get 6 and I get 2. So because we now have squared, I'm looking for two possible solutions. Take a look at another one like that. So let's say I have y plus 1 squared minus 4 equals 5. First thing I'm going to do is get this all alone. So I'm going to add 4 to each side. So I have y plus 1 squared equals 9. Now I can square root. And this is going to give me two different answers. So the square root and a square are inverses, so I'm left with y plus 1. And here I get two answers. I get 3 and I get negative 3. So I'm going to subtract 1, so I have y equals 2. Subtract 1, I have y equals negative 4. All right, we're going to be using the, this in a game tomorrow for an honor of St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for watching.